I love you. You're watching CCP podcast. Watching, enjoy it. Fun. Love life. Our room yours. <laughs> Adam Brooks, I'm sure you've heard of. Oh, yes. So I I should have, I didn't obviously run these in the order in which you sent them. So that's a me thing. That's uh, fine, bro. That's fine. I, uh, I, here's a so, so little peel behind the curtain. I, I know when I've seen a lot of Adam Brooks. Uh, so I was like, all right, when I put shows together, I like to go on the roller coaster ride. So I knew wherever I put this one, it's bound to be a great fucking match just because I haven't seen a bad Adam Brooks match, period. Uh, so I was like, yeah. all right, we'll put this one on third because it'll yeah. be right. It'll be no, time to, to peak it a little bit, and then we'll shoot. But I think I have paced yeah. it out a little bit with the Sabbath match too because I, I knew that that was probably yeah. going to be a really good So one with Brooksy, yeah, Anthony, I'll, I'll talk about it a little bit. So Brooksy, <laughs> crazy how this came about. It this was not meant to happen by any stretch of my fucking imagination. Um, <laughs> so I just won the belt the show before, and obviously COVID still thing. And I was meant to face a friend at the time, uh, no longer friends with a guy called York from Melbourne. Um, due to COVID, he couldn't come, but for whatever reason. Brooksy, oh, Brooksy was in Adelaide, but Adelaide was allowed to come. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, actually, a little peel back. That vest I'm wearing is actually my trainer's. I wanted to make sure I wore it for because it was a special match to me. Um, so, one day I see something pop up on Instagram after we announced the York thing, and because I was obviously attached to um, Anthony, like because I was doing all the social media, and I saw that he texted the Instagram, but I sort of just left it because I'm just like, well, that's the bosses to deal with. I then get a video message from Anthony oh. going, so York's out, oh, but, shit. but Brooks is in. <laughs> and I went, oh, fuck. So, yeah. So Brooks is crazy. in, ankle deep in your face. I Facts. saw him, he did that in another match. I'm like, wait, let's start it this way. I've got an idea. <laughs> that was fucking fire. I um. You want to establish who the powerhouse is right off the rip? Put your boot right through his orbital socket. Go right ahead. <laughs> yep. I I mean, for Adam Brooks, with anybody that we've talked to from from Australia, and we've talked to several from Adelaide, Redshaw and Katie Trey and uh, Angus Daisy, and we got some some more coming. I don't know how he hasn't been signed, man. I don't get it. What's that? There are there are so many talents across the planet that are in that same boat. It's like I don't know how this guy isn't signed. He's absolutely got everything. He's got the it factor. He's got the crowd in his pocket. He's got the skill set. He's got the work ethic. He's got the look. He's got the mic. And they don't have a contract. Well, I can explain I mean, to you exactly why he doesn't have a contract. Hey, so does he really want I, a contract? There's notoriety a notoriety and and notice. Well, so with Brooksy. Uh, he actually stayed at my place the night before, so I had a chat to him the morning of. And one of the conversations was about all that stuff. And apparently, there was chats of NXT UK when it was a thing. Um, but this didn't come to fruition for whatever reason. Well, that may just be right at that point, right? Uh, and now there's talks of them doing uh, another NXT UK uh I mean, it would be a good opportunity for anybody on that side of the globe uh, if, it, if it was to come to fruition. But nowadays, uh, I mean, I can only speak for here in the States. I can't speak for uh, for overseas or, or in Australia by any stretch. But uh, you, you don't need to be signed to, to make a real solid living on the independent scene with just how good everybody's doing across the, the globe. Like, there's a big resurgence, and it's – and we're just hitting the scra- or scratching the tip of the iceberg on it, in my opinion. Imagine where the industry and the independents specifically are going to be in the next three to five years. If the growth is already there, and, and I'll go back to what our boy 
uh, said earlier about the crowds growing uh, in in this particular area. Like, if they're growing now and that margin maintains, I mean, you're looking at five to six hundred in the next three to five. I mean, mm. That's some serious. That's just some, some serious movement. <clears throat> you, it'll, you'll be able to to. I'll say all this. So you don't have to have a contract nowadays. If you're if you're put the work yeah. in, you can make a real solid living. I feel right now. It's never been like this, and and it's something that you know changes every day. There's something new happening on the independent scene. It's it's very interesting to be a fan right now. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a bit hard on Australia. I mean, you've got some like the top guys in here who like. Uh, you got like Mikey Nichols, Robbie Eagles, those sort of like top level guys who like travel to Japan a lot. They're obviously making uh, some coin in that way, but I'd say most other guys all have to have other jobs. Sure. Out here, you know. Right now. Not as. Right now. Yeah, exactly. Look, yeah. mind you, there's, there's pays I've received that I never would have thought of when I first started, right? So there's obviously. There's been a big rise through the whole industry, which is good, especially in Australia at the moment in Queensland. I remember my first gig was a re- I was a referee. I got paid twenty dollars, and I drove two hours for it. And I don't think I made a dollar in the first two three years, maybe. Yeah, that's getting the experience again. That's changing the times. Man, the old saying of a hot dog and a handshake? Well, we just got the handshake. Brooks is having fun here. Oh, yeah. The, now, the Brooksy chop. Everyone in whose face Brooksy knows the Brooksy chop. Because that chop is always to the nipple. Every <laughs> time. Without question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, a bullseye. It's... Just painted on your well, chest. I thought huh? it was just me. Because my titties are hidden in this. Yet he still managed to get them. And then when I spoke, when I had Sabbath and a few others watch it, they're like, oh yeah, always hits the nipple. I'm like, oh, of course. Always just stick in that way. Gotcha. But he, oh, look, I love him. You can't not love Brooksy. I'm waiting on this to backfire on him. There it is. Super kick. There it is. Ate it. Good sell. Yeah, he wobbles all over the place. Great drop. Oh, look, man, I've stolen. Changes the whole momentum. Yeah. Yeah, Brooksy is considered a a legend in Australia from some of the people that we've talked to. Yeah. Yeah, and I use. Uh, Romano here in chat says Brooks hit us up because he was stuck in Australia then. It was the first time he would come to y Uh Before this, he'd never spoken to him at all. The rest is history. Brooks is a legend, and this match was an opportunity to raise Zach's stock and help y Bay all together. And I believe that that is absolutely the case. You get a guy like that oh, yeah. uh, with the, the career that he's had and the notoriety that he's got, and you who get associated, tangled up, any kind of enmeshed with a legend like that. And uh, it can't do anything but raise your stock. And it's not just you, Zach. It's the whole company in general. Uh, that oh, that no. booking probably raised the notoriety of the company that he was with. It did. By yeah, at least definitely did. A few you you dozen, the tickets. By at least sort of go a little bit more as well. A few dozen people. Well, maybe even like the local boys who wouldn't like come to like just be there usually. They'd want to come out and hang Brooksy because they're all sort of buds as well. So you're going to have those guys come up as well. So automatically, just him being there is going to bring 10 plus people straight away. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's straight away, you know. And, and definitely brought up more. This is one of the fuller crowds that we had for sure. So. Well, they came to see Zach Reynolds. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Yeah, exactly. The natural no, no, one. Come oh, no, on now. A lie. I was, I was the only champion on the show. I was not the only champion on the show for this one. Because me and Craven started the show. Oh. And the other one we just don't talk about. Ugh. What was that question that I asked you on uh, on the Beyond the Bell, Zach? I think it was one of the last questions I asked. Oh, do you guys ride kangaroos to school? Was that the question? 
Hey, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Look, in Maribor, yeah. <laughs> Got you. That was that was a funny moment. I, 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 of all the shows that we've done so far, I don't think I've laughed harder uh, than catching that one when you dropped it and <laughs> your face sold it. It was great. Hey man, it's the money maker. You gotta make sure this knows how to sell too. Yeah, bud. That's where that is the money maker. Oh, sunset flip. Oh. Nice transition oh, into the pin. Welcome back, everyone. What's that? Were you gone? Yeah, I dropped for a second there. Oh, My we were just being crazy. Nice leg trip right there. Oh. Oh. Your knees are mean. Hell of a knee shot across that rope. I gotta bring yeah. Back. You should. If you're not doing that yeah. still, you should. Yeah, I've got that. I've got another one where I go you over the rope. Hop slide uh, over the second rope the to breaker. the outside. Mm. Just run it through. I should come and set it up with that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, I'll do it that way. John has his moments of greatness. Oh, I'll just throw it into a combo with another move I'm that I've got and wanting to use more. Go on and get some original flashy shit. I'm always trying to think of like new stuff that I've never seen people use or like people just don't use anymore. Like a T-bone suplex. No one uses a T-bone suplex for anything anymore. So they're all just doing exploders because that's what's cool. Yeah. I feel you on that. There's a lot to be said. That's one thing I always love. I love about watching a Bobby Bishop match is because I always know I'm going to see the dusty elbow. I know it's coming. Yeah. I just wait for it. And when I see it, I pop for it because it's old school. And, you know, there's, it gets done, don't get me wrong. But uh, it's, it's, it's something that, oh, my God. He just kicked you square in the fucking face. No, he didn't hit the nipple there. That was all that teeth. Was brutal. Nope, nope. Yeah, no, he, yeah, yeah. That, that was all teeth. Ooh. I'd like to just point out to the referee: this is technically me pinning him. So just putting that out there. Getting screwed again. <laughs> Here we go. The the three matches in, and the fucking trend continues. What is up with the officiating down in fucking Queensboro? Is it the same ref? Oh, uh, mate, honestly. No, a different ref this time. That makes it that much fucking worse. Jesus uh, Christ. Why? Tell me about it. Yeah, that makes it a widespread conspiracy, sir. That makes it a widespread conspiracy. Yeah, it's not someone wasn't already doing that gimmick uh, around here. Probably. You. It's, a, it's right. a union issue. I think you got grounds, man. You got grounds to appeal the commission. Oh, look. <laughs> Just uh, instantly give me and Craven tag title shots. I'll take that as a reprimandment for what's happened. This is some some highway robbery. You hear it here first, guys. You can make it up to them by giving them tag title shots. There you go. Yep. Sounds you good. can appease the egos and make them not as upset with you. You can make them come back if you just give them tag shots. Yeah. There you, go. Uh, you know what? I, there, I have a provision to this clause, to this, to this, this, this possible contest. As long as the referee is legit, we have to have a legitimate yeah. Yeah, official yeah, yeah, yeah. that is yeah. not here. Ref, ref, I get to pick someone. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I'm trying to leave you a loophole, man. Romano. We'll, we'll bring one of you over. We'll you bring one of you over Romano. to come and ref they, the match they, for they, me. Oh, there's another strike. I love your knees. Those oh, are I'll vicious. <laughs> Oh, nice combo by Brooks. I like that STO style into the turnbuckle. So, which condiment would you prefer to eat his boots with? Because you are just <laughs> chewing his leather right here. Nope. Is that a, is that a ranch or a barbecue side? I don't, I don't know. 
Oh, look at Brooksy. Who knows? I don't think he's touched a condom in his life. Look at him. See, the, he got in the way again. Who's who are they screaming at? They're telling them they suck. Are they talking to Brooks? Or are they talking to you? Yeah, there's a kid there who's like dead for me. Like he, he was just there for me all night. Like Zach, Zach, yeah. So he's just he's screaming at Brooks. Here. My only thing was I wish I was a little more animated. Obviously, definitely didn't have the gas tank for it back then. But if we were to redo it, I know exactly how I'd redo it. I think that's why I said to you guys in the Beyond the Bell, so that's why that, if I ever had the opportunity to step in Robbie again, like, mm -hmm. I know it's a difference now, you know? Oh, I've got that other level that I think I really haven't been exposing lately, that I can, I just feel it, you know? I'm sure that there's going to be a time and a place for it. It's got to happen again. You guys, you do, you guys are I'm doing tremendous it. work down there. Oh. You got the resume. It's, you know, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. Nice. Hell of a catch there too. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I did not. I, I was sitting there like, please, please, please. I did had no faith in myself that I was. I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Check I, the hard I was part. Fully done. prepared that I was gonna have to pick him up off the ground. Fully prepared that he was just gonna bounce off me and be like shit, and I'd have to find a way to fix it and make it look good. But turned out. <laughs> I wish that was a shot of my face, because when I caught him, I, I definitely went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that deer in headlights moment. Oh, shit. We, we, we nailed it. Oh, shit. Cool. <laughs> Pretty big drop kick there. Got a bit of lariat, turns him inside oh. out. So he's obviously like best mates with Buddy Matthews too. So we're literally, when we're talking about it, like, yeah, we're doing Maddie's move. And the gut wrench. <laughs> like, oh, fucking hell. You know, you were talking earlier, how everybody does the exploder. Because I am a big fan of gut wrenches and the T bone. Like, those are. No one does them. That's like when I saw Swagger start doing the. Uh, Gut wrench like power bomb like that's cool. That's mm -hmm. different. When was the last time you saw somebody use like a tilt whirl backbreaker? Not as much anymore. Not as much anymore. It does, doesn't cool. exist. It, I mean, it might be out there, but they're not as they're not as common as they used to be for sure. And they look amazing. Oh, I love them. Oh, I love giving and taking. Those there's certain moves that you just know like. Just know you do and give and take better than others. I will that's take the those right suicide no, no. dives before I ever give one. You'll never see me <laughs> diving through a rope. Yeah, never ever see me just fucking flying. Never. Oh yeah, that was fucking gross. And I had to tell you boys, I'll spike bump before I front bump every day of the week. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you've, you're in here. You're hanging with him. Looks like he's run out of his tank, too. He's not capitalizing. Yeah. Thank you. You can see he's visibly getting frustrated. He's like, man, what the fuck do I have to do to finish this shit and just go home for the day? Oh, kick him to sleep. Maybe that'll work. No, we're just going <laughs> to club him right across the back. I think that just pissed him off. Knee strike. Oh, running knee. Oh. Oh, that kick was on the money.
I was about to say he's lucky he saved himself, but I don't know if it was so much oh, of a save as damn. a Damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah, move I will not take, Poison Rana. <laughs> Never. Well, that was the first yeah, one I take that it. Is, that's um, dangerous. But, ah. Oh. No, nah, Zach got close to the ropes. Oh, well, we got, oh. Oh, I got him. I thought we were going to get the foot on there. Oh, it was after the fact. We could complain about it like a proper heel. I'm waiting for the referee to see the foot on the rope. I want to see what he does. Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. I see a foot on the rope. No. He's waving it off. Like, wait, wait, wait. And he does reverse. I mean, he does reverse, but like, what kind of shape are you in to continue the match, really? Like, it was a desperate yeah, move out. anyway. Can you pull it together? Mm. Yeah, the plug here. And he takes the DQ. We had another fucking testicle buster from. The natural one there. Leaves with the belt though. That's a, a DQ. It's not a, it's not a title change. Well, you played that one right. That is correct. <laughs> nice psychology with the foot on the rope after the three count. Which, you know, for anybody who saw it, like if I'm there, I'm pissed now. Like how this motherfucker just got away with that. Oh, so, funnily but, enough. As I spoke to you guys about my first interstate match with the tag team match with me and Wombat and then the Untouchable Jordan guy, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. effectively what happened is the tag team partner after the three put the foot on the rope and then yep. the ref reversed it and it wasn't the dick kick we got beat up, obviously. But yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, ah, <laughs> good way to protect Brooksy and me <laughs> and I keep the belt. Yeah, yeah, no, it absolutely does finish well. It keeps him clean, and it keeps you as a heel. It keeps the story going. It gives a, a hook for a later match. It's it's a lot of lead up. I think that's actually a really good way to finish a match right there. A lot of times it can be a struggle to come up with a way to give you a finish without it being clean and keeping yeah. both people in a good light. But I think that one does just that for sure. <laughs> 